Hey everybody, I want to make a really quick video today and talk about changing text of TextMex, excuse me, that's a mouthful right there, TextMex Pro in Unity because it's a little different than the standard Unity UI system or the standard Unity text here. So first things first, here, let me show the project that it's set up, it's set up as of now. Uh, all that I have is one game object in scene here, actually I have two but the main camera. Uh, the game manager, we have a game manager script and the script itself here is just empty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sample scene, the hierarchy right here, this window. I'm going to right click UI and I'm going to say text-textmeshpro. And it's going to ask me to import TMP essentials. I'm going to go ahead and click on that right there. And this is going to import the package that allows me to make my font look really cool and do a bunch of really cool stuff here. I can close it out now. Now you'll notice we have a canvas and we have the text from here. I'm going to double click on this so it's kind of centering me up. Now you notice it's still not quite centered up here. The white rectangle is sort of the frame per se here. So you can see right now it's out of frame. Now I'm even gonna go ahead and change my camera to black just to make it look a little better here. Now I did also just put out a video on changing different properties here. So I should click on this from here. So if you're not familiar with Git component and changing the properties on a component here, be sure to check out that video. But anyways, we're talking about text, text mesh pro in this video. So back to scene here, I'm going to hit W on my keyboard to move over, bring it up just so it's a little more in frame, make it nice and big there, just to make it a little better for the sake of the video. Center, and center, center, bold I should say, subscribe, cool. So how do we control this text from a script from here? Normally, if you guys have used Unity before, and you know, years ago, usually we say using Unity engine dot UI dot UI, and if we try to do something like, you know, uh, public, if I can type today, public text, text, and we go back to our scene here, this isn't going to work, because it's not of quite, it's not of type text anymore, it's now of type a little bit different, so if I go to game manager, and I try to drag this in here, it's not going to accept it, so that's not going to work, so what we need to do here, instead of using UI, I'm going to get rid of this, I'm going to say using TMP Pro. If that doesn't come up as a suggestion, that's how it looks right there. Capital T, capital M, capital P, and then RO. And then instead of saying text here, I'm going to say T Text Mesh Pro, Mesh Pro, UGUI. And then this is the variable name, of course, we can call this whatever we want. Right now I'm just going to call this main text just to make it a little more simple. And then back to our scene from here. And then what we can do now on our game manager script, we can now drag this over here, and now it's of the same type here. So that accepts that variable um, in that cache right there, right? I'm gonna go ahead and save this scene. And now let's go ahead and set up a start function. Void, capital S for start. And then let's say main text dot text. So we're accessing a property of this text component from here, right? And let's set this equal to something like, I don't know, uh, like the video, please. And then if I go back to my scene from here, and I hit play, we'll see that text being updated from here. All right, so we can see the text being changed. Remember that the start method is called at the beginning of the scene here, so that's why it does it automatic. It's automatically called at the beginning of the scene. The main takeaways here is make sure that you're using TMP Pro. Make sure it's Text Mesh Pro UGUI. And then you want to access the property on that variable from there. All right. If you guys learned something, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.